Um, so Sean, as we, as we come to the end of this uh, solar conversation, let me ask you, what other most frequently asked questions do you find yourself answering for your stakeholders? And what are some other um, questions that we can reserve for future solar conversations to go maybe in deeper depth of Amperon's uh, uh, offerings? Yeah, um, questions I get all the time. Uh... Maybe about your team, about where you guys are as a at the evolution of your company, or or uh, you know more customer questions or partner questions. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go into the fundraising thing a little bit. Uh, yeah. All right. So yeah, I'd say one of the one of the questions I get a lot is so we just announced our our twenty million dollars Series B, um, and I uh, good thank you. I it's a rough year to raise money, but we were able to knock it out in a couple of months. Um, energized capital led, uh, really, really encourage people to build relationships. If you're a startup founder with VCs, uh, we found out I was at their LP meeting and my first email from, from John Tuck over there is February 1st of 2018. And our incorporation date is January of 2018. So literally he met us a couple weeks in. And so just building that relationship. So you don't have to start the whole story from scratch. You literally get to be like, hey, this is an update. This is where we are, et cetera. Um, and so I think that was really great. Um, also had uh, D. Shaw, um, HSBC, who led our last round, came back in. Orsted, again, talking about the the energy transition. They're, they're right at the cusp of it with a lot of the um, revolutionary stuff they're doing from the, the wind standpoint. Uh, and then Veritin, which... They actually announced their fund today uh, in Houston, but I, I love seeing more venture into Houston. Anybody who knows me uh, knows that I'm extremely pro Houston. I, I grew up here, went to school about 90 miles from here. So it's just awesome to see more venture come here. Uh, the energy transition needs energy professionals and a lot of them live here. Um, so yeah, I would say that that's what I get asked a lot about is just fundraising. And I think being capital efficient is something that's very important. Um, but also just don't get distracted. We do one thing and we do it better than anyone else in the world. And that's what we've done. And that's forecasting. And there's been a lot of things uh, that we've said no to people about. Um, and so not getting distracted when you're an early stage company. We ran a company for, on $10 million over six years. And now we have a fresh 20 on top of that. So really excited for where we're going to be going from here. This is great. Sean, words of wisdom from from a leader of a leading edge AI ML player in the in the energy space. Thank you. This is this is great great information you shared with our audience, and hopefully it also helps uh, Emperon get uh, new clients, new customers, prospects, and and beyond. And uh, we will uh, we will continue these conversations with you, where we hopefully dive deeper into your uh, tech offerings, your products, and absolutely uh, customer case studies, and and so on and so forth. Great. Thanks. That was great. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.